these are all the chickpeas I have chickpeas and lentils I have all these chickpeas and lentils so what I do I open up one of these I will take two of these and I'll open them up and I'll put them to soak in water overnight. This one right now, this I'm on the fourth rinse because when you put it to soak the next day, the water is like yellowish. I threw away the water and I rinsed it out and this is the fourth rinse. So now I'm gonna drain this water out and I'm gonna put it in a pressure cooker to cook for about 45 minutes. And then I take the chickpea and I put it in. And that noise you're hearing, this is the pressure cooker container. So I'll do this. I'll do this for a little while and when it's all in the pressure cooker container, I will come back to you. Now it's all gone. This is just the water left in there, so that's okay. I empty out the water in the sink. Now this is what it looks like in the pot. This is the this is it right here, the chickpeas. I put it in the pressure cooker pot. Sometimes, like when you paint, you'll come across those like this. That's bad on this side. But on this side, I split it in two, I throw away the, I keep the good side, and I throw away the bad side. Now I'm going to put water in there, and then set it in the pressure cooker, and I'll be back to show you that. This is my pressure cooker. This is the timer. I'll put the timer on, 40, on 45 minutes. I may set to 45 minutes. This is a cook. This is a cook. When I put it on, you'll see, and then when it's done and it shuts off automatically, it goes on warm. So it's a plug-in. This is where the little this will catch any water that evaporates. This is the inside of the pressure cooker. Now this is the pressure cooker, this and this, and now this is the pan with the, this is the pan with the chickpeas. This is the cover of the pressure cooker. You see there's a little white dot. This little white dot, I have to match it and take it all the way to close. Cause I don't want it open, I want it closed. So I take it and I turn it around and get to close. It needs to stay closed because it has to cook. It's a seal and vent. The vent is after it's finished cooking, I will put it on vent so the steam can release through here. But for now, I want it to be on seal so it can keep all the pressure in and cook my chickpeas. So it's on seal right now. Now I'll get the plug to plug it. And we will be, I'll be right back to show you that. This is where I plug this in. It's a three hole plug, so I'm going to plug it in here. Make sure it's plugged in. So now my pressure cooker is set to go. It's it's on a timer. It's sealed to keep the pressure in. It's closed, and I'm going to put it. And in 45 minutes, it will be it will shut off on its own. Now I plug it in, and the cook light automatically comes on because you want to set it first. So when you plug it, you're not trying to set it because remember, pressure is building on the inside. So you set the pressure cooker first, make sure everything is good, you make sure you unclose, you make sure you are on seal, and then plug it. Once you plug it, this light comes on, so now it's cooking. That little noise you heard, 
or as the pressure pin sets itself. So you don't want to open it, let it finish cook. When it's done, this light right here where it's a warm comes on. But I think my warm light is broken or burnt. But once it's done, this, this light will go off. And that's that for the pressure cooker. This is what the pressure cooker chickpeas look like. See, it makes this formal right here. So now I'm going to drain it. All drained out, getting ready to pour it out. I'm going to show you two favorite ways that I prepare my chickpeas to enjoy it my two favorite ways there are lots of many ways you can prepare chickpeas but this is my two favorite ways so just check and see what I am doing and and let me know what you think I already have my cooked chickpeas from the last time when I pressure cooked it now it's drained and it's been in the fridge so I'm just going to scoop it I'm going to scoop it in bowls and show you what I do this one is going to be salad time. I'm portioning how much I'm going to eat. This will be lunch. That is one portion right here. Then I have my tomato, which is washed. I'm going to slice and dice it and put it on my chickpea. I always warm up my chickpeas. I don't eat them cold. I like to like at least nuke it a little before I put my salad dressing. I put my Italian salad dressing. I haven't shaked it yet. And my diced tomatoes. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. This is my diced tomatoes. So while I warm up the chickpeas, I don't warm it too much. I dice my tomatoes already. So I'll add that to it. And then I'll have a meal. Today for dessert, for dessert today I'm gonna have fresh mangoes. Salad dressing is all shaken and ready to be poured on my chickpeas. This is my warmed up chickpeas. This is my diced tomatoes. Now I'm putting the salad dressing on there. I want you to see the whole plate. It's a nice size. You will, this will keep you well full because it is, chickpea has protein and fiber. And I mix it up like this. ready to have lunch. I am starving. Trust me when I tell you I am starving. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> you love my t-shirt. Message me for info on those t-shirts. Now, I'm just having a bite. Delicious. I'm going to enjoy my lunch. I will talk to you all later. I am back to show you another way that I do prepare my chickpeas. So I have the chickpeas here ready and I've already prepared my curry sauce. I prepared it earlier on and now I'm going to take it and mix it in with my chickpeas. And I'll have curry chickpeas. So this is my curry and I'm going to mix it. I'm now going to warm it up and I will be back so I can enjoy it.
now that the chickpea has been warmed up, I enjoy Bon Appetit. Mm. So now I've pouring chickpeas. I try to prepare my stuff ahead of time. My curry, I made it earlier on and just like wait. My chickpeas, I prepare them in batch and I put them in the fridge. Some in the fridge, some in the freezer. Because I eat chickpeas a lot and I enjoy eating chickpeas, so I always cook them in batches. So to make things quicker and easier, this is how you can prepare your stuff. Again, thank you. I'll try another way I do chickpeas tomorrow. This is another way I enjoy my chickpeas. I mash it like mashed potatoes and then I use a vegetable and I put vegetable. I use a vegetable and I put salad dressing on it. This is another way to enjoy chickpeas. <laughs>